Hola amigos, welcome back to my channel. I'm in Calatalo. Um, today I'm going on a full day tour. I'll be going to a cheese factory, a vineyard, and one or two magical town. Um, it's a full day tour, so we'll be starting at 9 a.m. It's gonna be around 10 or 11 hours. Um, the price is 930. I want to say casellas, no. <laughs> I'm in Mexico now, so 930 pesos, which is around 44 dollars. Um, but lunch is not included. In Mexico, it's very easy to find people to do shoe shining for you. In case you wonder how much it is, I just asked, it's 35 pesos. <laughs> The first stop is the Quesero, uh, which is a cheese factory. This is the cheese that we can try. Look at this, it's so cute. So we have 40 types of cheese to try. A glass of white wine and some apple. The third one is milk, so it's very different. The fourth one need to eat with the apple together. I don't really understand the reason, but it's nice. As you guys know, I cannot drink alcohol, but this one, it doesn't have too much alcohol in it. I don't know how many percent, but I can't really smell that. <laughs> it's very, very clean. This one is a little bit orange with um, some chili inside. His, the guy said um, it's very good to go with um, beer. This one is a little bit green <laughs> and hotter as well. This one tastes more like a European cheese. The texture is not like blue cheese, but the taste is like blue cheese. The tasting is done. I love all of them because the taste is not um, very strong. Mexican cheese is the best. <laughs> now I need to go to do some shopping. I need to check out the wine as well because I really like the red wine. We are at this magical town called Tequis Kiapan. <laughs> the name is too long so they just call it Tesky. I think this is their sort of Sokolo area or Central Park area. It's very colonial, very peaceful. This church looks so pretty. Let's go check it out. It was built in 1874. Wow, long time. I love the tiles. This church looks very luxury with a very very beautiful ceiling. If you go to churches in Guatemala, mostly the ceiling is plain, like nothing. This town is so famous of its cheese and wine tour. Look, it has um, different choices. The price of this kind of wine and cheese tour is ranging from 900 to 1,400 pesos. But, um, from what I've seen is all of them are in Spanish. If you want a tour that is in English, maybe you need to search for some um, tour agency. The red one I just tried was the best one I have ever tried in my life. Um, even though the time that I could drink wine, I only drank white wine because um, I just didn't like the red. If you are a wine expert, you might laugh because that's just a very cheap bottle of wine. But I like it! I don't care! If you come here, I suggest you to bring some more cash because you need to buy wine, cheese, and the souvenir here is nice. 
like this kind of shirt I like it in long sleeves but mostly I can only see short sleeves in other places we can have free time one and a half hour in here which is so nice because I just don't like to join a tour and they try to rush you for everything Um, taxi in here is an orange you know the taxi cover in Cancun is in white uh, I understand it's white because the weather is hot however I cannot define if it's a taxi or is a private car that's the bus here I saw another bus which is yellow and bigger and much nicer but I couldn't film it okay let's check out the um, local market so it's a very simple small town market this part is for food look at the chicharron oh it's huge oh, of course but the Lupe is always here it's a little food court and then meat Hello, pick up. Not every business is open. I'm not quite sure it's because it's a bit late. Now it's already maybe 12 o'clock. But anyways, it looks very clean. Mexican magazine and newspaper. Let's go into the souvenir market. It's very dark here. I cannot see. A lot of stones. Are they from the mine? Oh, I love that. I mean, I love this kind of things. I think the market is more like for buying things for everyone. But if you want to buy something nice for yourself, I suggest you to go back to the park. We are at the magical town called Benya and behind me is a sightseeing spot, a very famous sightseeing spot. Una iguana. Una iguana. Oh, maybe now um that's the head and the nose and the mouth. I don't know, or the other way around. So she just explained to me again. That's one person, and that's another person. So two people try to climb to the top. In order to go up there, it's going to take four hours. Anyways, it's a very, very beautiful place. You can have some fresh air. We got another two hours free time in this town called Benna. See the water filter. Oh, I love the car. Tell me, why everything is in slim cut? But I'm in Mexico. This is supposed to be a restaurant. I guess it's not open now. The building and the motor taxi. They match the color. Oh, 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 oh. Look, I catch the bus. This is the bus I'm talking about. Okay, this one is a bit old. This little town has its own tourist trolley. Amazing. This small place has a lot of bakeries and they all smell so good. On the queso. In this shop, you don't need to buy the whole box of candy which you can never finish. <laughs> you can buy piece by piece. From what I can see, all the shops and restaurants are open and most of them are for tourists. But at this moment of time, <laughs> there are not too many tourists. 
um, but still, um, the vendors they're not um, very aggressive. They're not aggressive at all. Um, they just gently greet you and ask you if you need any help. That's it. There are lots of magical towns in Mexico, but is it all of them are magical? <laughs> For me, I find that some of them are very uh, simple. <laughs> some of them are very touristical. And this one, yeah, I can feel a bit of magic. <laughs> Somehow I feel like I'm in a movie scene. The setting is in a mountain village and I'm going to have an adventure here. <laughs> Maybe because I can see a lot of handmade sweater and hats here. And yeah, it just look like um, it's a place for nomads. If you have visited a few um, different places in Mexico, you might notice that Everywhere in Mexico is a bit different. However, if you have only been to Cancun or you only go to Cancun, you miss Mexico. colonial type of historical buildings I think it hasn't changed much in the last few decades maybe I should say the last a hundred years I'm hungry I need to find something to eat From the outside, I thought it's just like a very local restaurant, but it's cute! And I got my horchata. I ordered two quiso. One is with cheese and another one with mushroom. In case you wonder what it is, why it is so dark, um, it's a type of um, tortilla but with like a black color of sweet coin. It is like a um, pita bread. <laughs> the shape is like a pita bread and the texture is quite crunchy. Mm. I think I need to add some hot sauce. Mm. That's better. Oh, by the way, the correct name of this is called Gotita. Only 54 pesos. Fantastic. We're here for some wine tasting. First, we need to put on this hair cap. Going to 25. No. Because that. I don't know why this is like a photo spot. <laughs> this is scary. There's an altar in here.
se deben pasar más secos, más robustos. This tour is like a museum kind of tour. Absolutely boring. <laughs> to be fair, it is very informative. She did a very good job. But I was expecting we we're going to a farm instead of a museum. Wine tasting time. Time to try my lemonade. Mm. Maybe I haven't had wine for a long time. For me, it tastes like champagne, but they told me it's white because the taste is very sweet. However, I like it because I don't taste any alcohol at all. and a glass of white wine and I'm still fine <laughs> our tour guide she is excellent she's also the driver as well all by herself for almost 10 hours tour incredible 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 she is an incredible woman I will have the information of the tour agency in the description box down below in case you want to check it out However, if you would like to taste more type of wine and you need your tour guide who can speak English, then you need to look for something else. But 930 pesos for a full day tour including wine and cheese tasting, I think it's quite a good deal. In case you want to see how Caletalo looks like, <laughs> here you go. Um, it's not absolutely quiet but it's not busy as well this restaurant i tried the other day both of the service and food are excellent um however it's a bit pricey it cost me around i think over 300 uh, dollars because i don't know 300 pesos um i just ordered some black mole with chicken and it came with some rice and tortilla and then two glasses of orange juice I checked with a lady in my tour uh, who is from Mexico City um, she also thinks that uh, Calatolo, the restaurant in Calatolo is expensive because she just went to Guanajuato and everything in Guanajuato is so cheap I mean food uh, for accommodation um, I think it's still a bit pricey when you go to this side um, the restaurants are even more luxury I don't know how much they're gonna charge you you might wonder what am I holding this is the wine glass that I just used um, I think the ticket is included <laughs> so now I'm gonna go home to cook and shower and edit this video so you guys have something to watch tomorrow remember to subscribe if you haven't uh, like this video share this video and leave me a comment in the description box down below whatever you want to say all right so i'll see you next time bye let me show you what i got today this is the wet wine they said i need to put it into the fridge I remember it is 12% of alcohol, yeah, 12%. Um, sweet wine. This bottle, 750 milliliters, 270 pesos. This is the smoked 
cheese it's pretty soft it looks like a bread it's 140 peso i also got some candies which i can't remember how much i paid 